in today's video we're going to be looking at a quick tip for the grease pencil. So let's go ahead and jump over to the 2D animation. And by default, we have a bunch of brushes. Now that's all well and good, but Blender does come with some more brushes. And all we really need to do is import them. And to do that, it's really simple. Go over here to the specials menu and then go down to download and import texture brush pack. And you can see as soon as we do that, it's now imported those brushes. So if we click this, we have a whole bunch more that we can use. And if we go up here, you might be able to see it a little clearer, but these are all the brushes and these are actually amazing. We have some clouds, a couple of different types of grass, leaves, a kind of oil painting texture and a whole bunch more. Select one of them and then you can start using it. And then we can see we have this wispy kind of cloud effect. Again, we can change the way this looks. We can always go to maybe stroke and change some of these randomized options. So right now we can see it's randomizing the radius. It's also randomizing the UV. And if we want, we can randomize the strength and it should give us more variations. And uh, that's a terrible looking cloud, but hopefully you get the idea. Uh, let's take a look at another one. For example, the grass. This is a really useful one if you want to create some quick grass. Uh, these brushes are really, really useful. I'm really not doing justice to them here, but so yeah, go ahead and download these and use them in your projects. It'll save you a lot of time rather than using these default brushes. We can use these custom ones. So there we go. That's the quick tip for the grease pencil. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, be sure to hit that like button. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.